All right, there we go. So I am going to ask everybody to mute at this time, but if you have a question, you can unmute and ask, or you can throw it in the chat box. And um, again, welcome to Friday Night Live with John. And Patty. Thank you. Here we do this the third Friday of every month, mostly. There are some changes every now and then. Um, oops, there we go. But our announcements. Okay, so the first thing is we are having our annual shutdown week, the week of August 5th. So all three of our offices will be closed that week. Okay, from well, the 5th is Monday and through Saturday the 10th. And then we'll be back to work the um, following week. Um, John has graciously, graciously invited um, my husband and me to go back to Alaska salmon fishing with him. So we are thrilled to be doing that. And Dr. Nelson is going to be fishing with us this year. She is going to join us, meet us there. So we'll be the four of us and uh, we will send some pictures and have some pictures for our next meeting. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to have fun and relax. And then for those of you on Facebook, we have our private community page, um, which I think most everybody that's on the Zoom call right now is on there if you're on Facebook. Um, just it's a great place to ask questions and see what others are doing or what have they done on their programs to help them get through taking all the supplements and things to eat and whatnot. <laughs> Our next Zoom call is Friday, August 23rd, which is not the third Friday. And that's only because um, we'll be gone that first full week of August. So gonna give us a couple of weeks to get back and regroup and get everything going again. And I'm sure all of you know why I struggle so much because Patty just said it's the third Friday of each month. And now she changes it. She's always changing on me. You know, it's such a hard life I live. Uh, you know, I hope everybody has their violin out to play. <laughs> Poor John. Poor John. <laughs> and one thing that I did not put on here, but we are going to do a group cleanse starting August 19th. Okay, so um, we'll promote that. I'll send an email out as it gets closer. But if you haven't detoxed in a while, um, August 19th will be the day that we can all do it together. We'll start our pre-cleanse on that day. And then we'll be on liquid um, for class on Friday, August uh, 23rd. So I want to just touch a little bit about the next class and what we're going to talk about just so that um, normally we say it's to be announced, but this time we know. I want to talk because I've been getting some calls from people about things. Some of the, there's so many things on TV now uh, and internet about quick weight loss and all these gimmicks that from, uh, carnivore diets to shots and all kinds of stuff. And I keep getting calls from people asking me about it. And we're going to break them down and, and explain what they are and what they do. And a lot of times, even Patty was talking to me today just a little bit ago about some doctor who is a kind of a naturopathic doctor is promoting a, one of the chemical weight loss programs. And and to be honest with you, it's all about the almighty dollar. And people sometimes sell their soul for the dollar. And we want to kind of break that down a little bit and go over it. Because I, I really don't want people thinking, looking for that quick fix and hurting themselves and uh, destroying their immune system. Because even, uh, even the Ozempic that's been out a little while, they're already having um, they're already having commercials that if you've taken Ozempic and you've developed certain diseases, you can sue, you can put your name on a list with attorneys, et cetera. It's already happening. It's going to happen a whole lot more, but people want the quick fix. And we're going to go through that. Nothing comes easy. Nothing. Uh, whether it's whether it's health, whether it's relationships, whether it's faith anything. Nothing is easy. Nothing is magic. 
and we pay for the shortcuts. So that's our next class. Um, if you know people that are thinking about it, tell them to tune in next month to find out more about it before they make that, that decision, okay? So if anybody has any other ideas for class topics, please let us know. We love to have ideas and different things to talk about and teach and educate people because I feel that education is a most important factor. Um, but more importantly, we have to stay on ourselves, we have to take care of ourselves. We have to keep on thinking about the things that we've been taught and keep doing them. Because once we let go of the rope, sometimes it's hard to get a hold of it again before we we find ourselves um, sinking into the into the um, abyss of poor health. Okay. So Patty just went to answer the phone. So just give us a second, and um, she'll be. Viviana. Oh, that was Viviana. Oh. Okay. All right. So, okay. So we just, oh, Don Alexander's on. Hi, Don. We just introduced everybody. Don Alexander just signed on and say hi, Don. I guess she's not going to talk to us. <laughs> she is from uh, Connecticut. Okay. All right, someone's not muted. I'm done. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Sorry. No. Sorry. Yeah, here it yeah. is. Okay. All right. So let me share this. We're going to get started. Okay. Okay. We're going to talk about oils. We're going to talk about different oils. We're going to talk about the the need for them. It's not the sexiest topic in the world, um, but it's a. I believe it's a very important topic. I think it's something that is a lot of people don't um, understand as much as they should and, and the reasons for the oils that we need in our body. So we're going to cover that tonight, okay? And we, and Patty entitled it. And I always want to give a shout out to, to Patty because she puts this together. So if anything goes wrong, blame her. <laughs> it's like a pat on the back and then a slap Kick in the face. The <laughs> um, it's a power of omegas. Uh, we have to have the omegas, okay? Uh, the good and the bad, we have to have them in our body, just like we have to have good bacteria and bad bacteria. Everything is in, um, in proportions. Everything has to be structured. Uh, but we can't skip out on things and think that we're going to remain healthy. So what are the names of the um, omegas? We've all heard about omegas. And, and uh, a lot of people go on the internet and they see a lot of these things about, um, you know, things like omegas and the EFAs and essential fatty acids and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If you're trying to stay healthy by being on the internet, um, WebMDs and all that stuff, you're making a huge mistake. Everybody has an opinion and everybody's entitled to their opinion. But oftentimes I find that people try to do three or four things at once and that part never works. Uh, my belief is if you're doing a certain thing, do it. If it doesn't work, then so be it. But if you try to, uh, married three or four different things together, which we've seen over the years, right? Mm -hmm. Many, many times. And those people struggle mightily. So uh, I just encourage you, don't listen to all the talk on the on the internet. Um, people will tell you that drinking water is not necessary. <laughs> That's their opinion. They're entitled, but it's wrong. Uh, people will tell you that coffee has all kinds of nutrients and you can't hardly live without it. That's wrong. So if you're trying to stay well, stay well with 100% knowledge. Don't listen to all the white noise that goes on around there, okay? So we're going to talk about omegas, omega-3, 6, and 9, uh, which are better known as essential fatty acids. And we are going, they, they have a lot of different names, and um, oftentimes you'll hear names like alpha, linoleic acids, or ALA, You'll hear things like um, EPA, which uh, stands for Ecopastic 
Enosis acid. DHEA is docosahexanonic acid, which I probably didn't pronounce it exactly <laughs> right, but it's about a 14 letter word. Uh, but you don't really need to know. All you need to know is what do I need in my body to be healthy? Now, whenever we do the Zyto scan, I always look to see which one of the omegas, whether it be salmon oil or it be uh, a flaxseed oil, which one is the better for the person when I scan them, especially before a program. Uh, the reason is one of them, salmon obviously is fish and a flaxseed oil is plant. Now, not that one or the other is necessarily better for everyone, but at any given time, it could be one could be better for that person at that moment than the other. And that's why I always look for which one of the essential fatty acids your body is testing for. Um, so what are omegas? Uh, omegas are <clears throat> your essential fatty acids. Um, why they're essential? Because your body does not produce them naturally. Uh, believe it or not, all the EFAs in your body, um, what you were born with is all your body is ever going to make. So Heather has a six month grand, six month old grandchild. That baby is never there. That body is never going to produce uh, any more of the EFAs that that person needs for the rest of their life. Now. The omega-9, the body does produce, okay? And the omega-9 in actuality is not, is not essential, okay? So we don't, we don't need to put omega-9 into the body, but we do need the three and the six in the body. So what is the difference? Uh, omega-3 um, is anti-inflammatory. Omega-6 is inflammatory, okay? So you might say to yourself, why do I put omega-6 in my body if it's inflammatory? Well, it's the same thing as good bacteria and un or friendly bacteria and unfriendly bacteria. We have to have both to offset each other. Um, the omega-3 strengthens the cell structures, so it, it helps to, to give energy to the cells. It helps them from breaking down and keep the body healthy because the cells in our body is what determines health or poor health. When the cells become, the structure of the cell becomes abnormal, they start to wobble in the body and then they actually bump into other cells and that is what creates tumors. And tumors then can, if the body's not strong enough to get rid of the unfriendly cells, then they can converge on each other and it creates a tumor, okay? So the omega-3 helps to eliminate those kind of issues. The omega-6, when we put in the body, actually creates energy, all right? So even though it's inflammatory, it does create energy. Um, the omega-3 is better known um, for the EPA, DHA, and the ALA, where the omega-6 supports the immune system. And the omega-3 virtually is unavailable in the standard American diet. Okay, now, for those of you who have been around for a while, the standard American diet is what we call the SAD diet, because it is... The, the junk food, okay? The omega-6, though, is in the sad American diet. And that is all those oils we get. Things like canola oil and, and the, the high heated oils that they use when, when they cook French fries and uh, deep fried fish and, and all that stuff. Uh, I always mention that um, I have family that lives in um, Mississippi, and they always tell me how much they're always unhealthy. I know, and I hate to say it, but they're always, always at the doctors and they always have all kinds of problems. And I always tell them, 
you need to eat more vegetables and you need to eat more fish. And they tell me, they say, John, that's all we eat is vegetables and fish for the most part. Uh, and some beef, uh, you know, red meats and stuff. And so then I asked them, well, how do you cook it? Down south, they deep fry their vegetables. They deep fry their fish. Everything is deep fried. And that is where you get the, the omega-6s, which is creates the inflammation. Now, your good omega-6s do not create inflammation, okay? So when you take the omegas, the omega-6, you're not going to have joint pain and stuff like that. It's when we put the omega-6 through the, the oils that are unhealthy. What are some of the other oils other than like, canola? Like corn oil, vegetable oil. Yeah. yeah. Corn oil, uh, what they call rapeseed oil, which is part of the canola oil family, that type of thing. Those are all the oils that they use for the, um, and they're cheap too. They're right. very, very, very cheap compared to good olive oil and and um, coconut. coconut oil and some um, safflower oil. Avocado oil. Yeah. And uh, even your oils can turn into your omega-6, some of your better oils, if they're used too much. Uh, so a lot of places will use the better oils, but they use them over and over and they, they maintain the high, high heat levels. So they become uh, inflammatory and because they lose their benefit of the omegas. Okay. Um, but the omegas are the building blocks of healthy fat that are in our blood cells. Okay. And primarily in our brain cells and neuro tissues. So people that don't get enough omegas will have a tendency to have more neurological issues uh, later on in life, uh, which which can equate to things like uh, oh, dementia and Alzheimer's and those kind of um, later in life um, diseases that, that we hear so much about in our... Um, so omegas are the key building block in lipid cellular structures in the body, which goes back to the uh, strengthening of the cell structures. And... Um, Essential means that we need them and that our body does not naturally produce them. So if our body doesn't produce it, then we have to get it somewhere else. So we get the oils. Um, so, so what are the signs of a lack of um, the, the, the omegas? Okay. And, and it says that the goal is a balance. We need a balance. All right. So as I mentioned before, the poor diets, when we start eating bad, and we've all been there, I think. I don't think there's anybody that can say I have not eaten part during my lifetime. And I'll speak for myself. I had a good part of my, most of my life was eating poorly, okay? Um, the standard um, sad diet, we should say, is rich in omega-6s and 9s, which are inflammatory and wholly deficient of the omega-3s, which are the, the anti-inflammatory. And obviously that creates an overly inflammatory response. So to give you an example, we a young lady was in today, she's in finishing her second week of, um, Marinus. Um, oh, her candida program. Second week of candida, but she has- um, Cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy. And a wonderful, wonderful lady. I was hoping she'd tune in tonight. And um, she told, and we have her on all the omegas. And after two weeks, she said her pain level in her joints and everything was a 10. And she said, she was so happy. She uh, actually gave her a wrap and a facial today. Uh, so she's in her third week. Um, and she said that her pain level is at best a three. And there's some days now she's, she doesn't have any pain. And she wanted to know why. Why all of a sudden does this happen after all these years of pain? And it's because of 100% nutrients in her body to include the omegas because it knocks out the a lot of the inflammation. And I did warn her that even though she feels so much better, not to give into the temptation to um, wander, okay? So what are the symptoms of omega-3 deficiency? Skin issues sterility or miscarriages, hormone imbalance, uh, lack of muscle recovery for people that are exercising and they don't, their muscles don't feel good, heart conditions and hair loss. So 
Oftentimes we think that hair loss for men and women, um, especially women, is thyroidal and hormonal, which it is, but it can also be a cause of lack of uh, omega, the omega-3s. And the symptoms of omega-6, which is lack of energy, because remember earlier we said that omega-6 creates energy, muscle weakness, uh, vision loss, learning difficulties. So if a child comes in and is having trouble learning, one of the first things we want to do is put them on the omegas. And uh, difficult, uh, mood changes, um, mental, because it, it, again, it's the brain. Uh, the oils play such a huge role in um, mind, in the mind, in the brain, because we have to remember that the brain is made up primarily of fat. Okay, that's what the brain is. And if we ignore the brain and don't produce the proper oils in the body, we will have issues with memory loss, those kind of things where we, uh, the brain just doesn't function the way it's supposed to. Um, so where do we get the omegas? Okay, so when we talk about foods, we want whole foods, fish, um, especially your salmon. Um, now, we mentioned we're going fishing primarily for salmon. And over the last number of years, I've eaten more fish than I've ever eaten my whole life. Okay. Um, and it's helped. Um, Patty may mention to me a little while ago that she, she thought my hair was darker and I, all this stuff. And a lot of it, I believe, is because of the way we eat and the, what the, the different oils that we put in our body and, and the way we take care of ourselves. Okay. Nuts, but raw nuts and not peanuts, not pistachios. Okay. Raw almonds, walnuts, cashews, those kind of things. Your seeds. What type of seeds would you recommend? Uh, pumpkin seeds, um, sesame, those type of raw, raw. Yeah, and raw seeds. Okay. Sunflower seeds would sunflower, be okay. Yeah. Raw sunflower. Sprouts. What are some examples of sprouts? Sprouts. There's um, bean sprouts, there's like broccoli sprouts. All your vegetables um, can be sprouted or okay. start as sprouts. Um, and that's great because you're getting those loaded, the nutrients are loaded in those little sprouts. Um, so it's one of the superfoods yep. sprouts are. Beans, but not from a can. Okay. If you're eating beans from a can, you are not getting omegas at all. Period. All right. Um, avocados. Avocados are fabulous for a number of things, okay? Healthy fats, um, energy, protein, mm -hmm. all those kind of things. There are a lot of people that don't care for avocados. I personally really enjoy them. Eggs. Um, eggs always had a bad rap. They said eggs gave you high cholesterol, uh, clogged arteries, etc. It's been proven to be false. Um, however, you want good, uh, fresh eggs. How can you tell if an egg is fresh? The yolk is orange, not yellow, okay? If you crack an egg and it looks like that avocado yellow, that is not a fresh egg. <laughs> that is an old egg. And somebody told me the other day, they said, I go to the store and I buy the eggs and they say, fresh. Well, I'm not sure what the, how long they've been in the carton or whatever the case is, um, but um, egg, the egg yolks should be orange. And I, I know Shirley got a couple of dozen of eggs this week, and I'm anxious to hear if she, if she um, had any yet and noticed a difference in taste. There is a, in my opinion, there's a huge mm -hmm. difference in taste from the eggs that are fresh and have an orange yolk to the ones that are you buy in the store yellow yolk so if you know people that have good uh range free chickens and they sell eggs that's what you want okay mm -hmm. we do carry them in our offices too but uh, somebody just asked um uh repeat which nuts to avoid avoid um pe peanuts and pistachios primarily and avoid ones that have already been processed when you buy them you want to buy them raw and also, do you mean dried beans? Yes, you want the dried beans. 
uh, if you're getting nutrients from the beans. Olive oil. Olive oil is wonderful. Olive oil is, um, but you want olive oil in a dark bottle. The darker the bottle, you don't even want to be able to see the, the olive oil through the bottle. You want it dark. And the darker the bottle, the more expensive it is. I will tell you that. However, it's the healthiest because sunlight takes away the nutrients from the oil. So you want, that's why you do, you want it that way. And you want the olive oil, it should say cold pressed or first expelled pressed, which means they don't heat process it. Virgin, virgin expelled or pressed is best, right? That's what you're saying? It should say right on the bottle, cold pressed or expeller first, first expelled pressed. Yeah. Right. Spinach. Okay. Uh, spinach it, and really anything green. Uh, green. Broccoli. Broccoli. All, all those kind of things. And the greener, the more omegas you're going to get. And this last one is not something that I um, love to eat, tofu. Uh, I've only eaten it a few times, but... Um, I know that a lot of people eat it. Um, they say that it tastes like whatever you're eating it with. I don't know if that's a fact, but uh, I didn't find much flavor in it, but it does have a lot of omega. So if you like it, it's great. Um, holistically, how can you get it? Salmon oil, okay? Now, I wanna reiterate when I talk about things, cause I've done some consultations in the last couple of days where people saying, well, I have all these supplements and I got it from a good place and I, and I show them the ingredients and they're not good, okay? You have to read the ingredients on everything, no matter how they tout it, no matter how they market it, um, you have to read the ingredients to protect yourself, just like you do food, okay? It, you know, we talk about um, fish. Well, farm-raised fish is very, very uh, unhealthy, even though it's salmon and it's a fish. So you have to read the ingredients and you have to know what you're doing, okay? Um, flax seed oil, I mentioned that before, and then our evening primrose oil. So we have the evening primrose, and everybody's on a program is taking, when you're just doing a program you're on, everybody's on evening primrose oil, everyone. Okay, um, and that is your your six, and then your three is your flax or the salmon oil, depending on which one is better at that time for you. So, whenever we do a zyto on people, if one of the oils comes up, I highly recommend they take it because their body is saying they need it. Another question came out: um, What about coconut oil? Coconut oil is really good for um, cooking. But it's not a, in coconut oil, there's not a lot of omegas, as we're talking about now. I'm not saying don't use coconut oil, but if you're looking for the omegas, you want to stick more with your olive oil. Okay. Somebody else said, um, I've heard olive oil can contain other oils. Is this true? Not if it's expeller, as Patty mentioned, whole pressed, expeller pressed virgin olive oil. It is just olive oil. As you get just like supplements, as you get into your lighter bottles and stuff, there's a higher probability that there are other things because they know that the sun light takes away some of the nutrients. So sometimes they can add different things in and that's knowing what you're buying. By law, you, there has, has to be an ingre ingredients list on the bottle. So if it says it's got other oils in it, then I wouldn't use it. You just want pure olive oil, and that's what should say on the bottle. Okay. Okay. So next. Okay. What is the difference between animal and plant-based omegas? Animal studies have shown that animal-based omegas have a higher dose of the EPA and the DHEA. DHA. 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 DHA, okay? Um, so, but some people just don't want to eat animal, and, and I understand that. Um, I did a consultation the other day, and a woman said, you know, I used to eat it, but I saw, you know, I just feel bad for the fish and the animals and all this stuff. 
and that's all personal opinion, but you can do plant-based as well. Um, so the, the plant-based omegas have the ALA and 20% of the ALA will convert to the EPA and DA. So you don't get as much as fast from the, um, from the plant as you do from the fish. And that is why when we start people on programs, the people that actually start out on the flaxseed oil, they take more of it when they first start, okay? Because of that. And with the salmon oil, they're taking one less uh, a day, at least when they start the program, because of the conversion. So we want to get a lot of it in in the beginning to help people get, get into it and get enough of the oils into the body. Um, EPA, again, like it states, uh, the different, the three types of the omega-3. EPA is uh, the fish. Uh, DHA is also uh, the fish. And the ALA is found in plants. Okay, that's a question. Okay. Avocado oil. Um, well, again, avocado oil is good. Uh, you want to, it's part of avocados. Yeah. So I would venture to say that avocado oil would be as good right up there with the olive oil if you're looking to um, get your omegas. As long as it's in dark bottles, you always want to get the darker bottle and read the ingredients. Working on it. Here it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, why Alaskan salmon oil? Um, number one, it's deep sea, northern Atlantic, cold water. What does that mean? It means that the closer to shore that we get the fish from, the more toxic levels there are and the risk of toxins, okay? So, and and salmon are not bottom feeders. They don't eat off the bottom. So therefore they're cleaner. Um, what do they do? They balance cholesterol levels, um, improve cognitive function. So again, the brain. Um, healthy aging, which can be brain and everything else. Increase health of the eyes, nails, and skin. So, but here's the thing I just want to say. I'm not saying that everybody that says, oh, I've been told I have a high cholesterol has to run out and get uh, the omegas. There might be other things your body's deficient in. You might be your eating can be causing it too. So it's kind of the whole thing, but right now we've kind of picked the omegas to talk about. So I, I don't want everybody to think, oh, I absolutely have to have the salmon and the EPO right now. It's not necessarily true. If you're in the area, we can test you. We can tell uh, if that's what your body is looking for. And that could be the problem. It could be hormonal. It could be a lot of other things too. But again, we're talking about um, the omegas. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. That was a little off script. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. The flaxseed oil, again, um, that's flaxseed. Uh, now, and I will say a lot of times, I mean, again, off script, people oftentimes say, you know what, I take, I put flaxseed in my smoothies and um, I uh, take flaxseed, I put it in my salad. Number one, you're not going to get all the nutrients by doing the seed itself because the body has to break it down. The oils, whether it be flaxseed, salmon oil, like when I eat salmon, I don't get as much of the nutrients by eating the salmon as I would if I took the salmon oil, okay? But by eating salmon, because I have it, I get other nutrients too. Um, but people that eat flax seeds, a lot, most of that is eliminated when you, when you eliminate, okay? Just like when we eat vegetables, that's why juicing is so much better than eating the vegetables. If you can juice and drink it, that's why we heal faster, et cetera. So oftentimes people say, well, I do flaxseed, so I don't need to take the oil. And sometimes the oil comes up as high need, even though people take flaxseed because it's not absorbing into the body. If your body has trouble digesting anything that we eat, you get less of the nutrients. So I just wanted to clear that up. Uh, a question may come up and somebody asked that. So I thought I would, um, but 
Flaxseed, again, helps to alleviate skin issues, um, balance healthy blood levels in the body, support a healthy inflammatory response, and level help to level, I say help, level hormone fluctuations, okay? Um, where am I at? Evening primrose oil. Again, you'll notice all of them help with the skin. They all help with uh, blood levels. And they all help with uh, in inflammation and hormones. Mm -hmm. So they all work synergistically together to help in all these areas. Again, sometimes people say, I just want to take the evening primrose. I just want to do one. But if your body needs three, six, and the nines, which we don't really nine, but three and six, then sometimes you need both. Sometimes you need the combination for a while to get your body up to a level that it's supposed to be. Um, omegas for skin, okay? Um, a lot of skin, a lot of people have a lot of skin damage and a lot of it is uh, caused by many things, okay? Um, Allergens, uh, viruses, uh, sun, etc. All kinds of stuff. Okay, uh, dust, mites, everything gets into our skin and creates problems. And so what happens is when we have unhealthy skin, the body does not absorb the the hydration like it should. Okay, healthy skin will hold on to it. Um, unhealthy skin. Because it's unhealthy, the moisture just evaporates, dissipates. So when we have compromised skin, uh, we're going to have a lot of dryness. Almost everybody I do consultation on tell me I have dry skin. That's because you're unhealthy. Flakiness. Um, the skin is rough to the touch, especially on the legs, the lower legs especially, okay, down around ankles and calves. Uh, skin can feel tight, Um sensitivity to a lot of things on the skin and a lot of itchiness that can be compromised, which can be taken care of through the omegas by um, having healthy skin. You block a lot of viruses. Uh, the mites don't attack the skin the way it would because it's like a barrier. Uh, in other presentations we've done, we talk about the skin and the importance of healthy skin and that skin is your largest limitative organ in your body. Uh, in a lot of ways, it's the most important organ, not denigrating the heart because if the heart doesn't work <laughs> or the brain, okay? Um, some people's brains might not work as well as we want it to, but we got to have the heart. I have to go with that heart number one. Uh, but skin is so important, okay? Um, it helps our immune system uh, because it's a barrier to everything that goes on within our body. And that's one of the big reasons for omegas. If somebody has really, really bad acne, for example, sometimes we'll take them, tell them to take the uh, evening primrose oil, break it open, and put the oil right on the skin. And that can help a lot um, just by applying it to the skin to help heal the, um, the barriers and, and the different levels of the skin, okay? Because it penetrates. Okay. Um, Let's see. So moving on over here. Got my notes here. Okay. Um, so hormones. What do hormones have to do with omegas and what do omegas have to do with hormones? Okay. Um, hormones are basically uh, chemical messengers. Um, the hormone the messengers are the four um Hormones are listed, estrogen, testosterone, progesterone, and insulin. All of those dictate our hormones, male or female. If our estrogen is too high, we start getting sweaty and clammy. Uh, if our estrogen is too low, we start getting shaky. We start getting feeling cold all the time. Uh, testosterone, progesterone balances the testosterone and the um, estrogen levels. Insulin is based upon your sugar, which affects the hormones, affects the liver, and affects the pancreas and everything else. So every hormones is a centerpiece of our body, which the omegas actually help to balance. 
again, sometimes it's it can be uh, estrogen is way out of line, so we need to add things like balance or or wild yam cream to get them back in balance. But if your progesterone's out of balance, that means your estrogen and your testosterone are both out of balance. So women have to have more estrogen than testosterone. Men need to have more testosterone than estrogen. But the progesterone is the middleman who, who governs and balances both of those to try to keep those in line. And by the proper use of omegas, that affects the progesterone. So the progesterone can balance and balance and level the other hormones the way they're supposed to be. Now, insulin, of course, if you're taking all the essential fatty acids, but you're eating candy bars and sweets and lots of breads, you're still going to have an insulin problem, regardless of how much evening primrose, flaxseed oil, salmon oil you take. So I just want to make sure that we understand that. Eating is the most important thing that we we do to our body, what we put in our body. Okay. Um, so a lot of times, I, I want to back up if you would one more, I'm sorry. When we get to hormonal and people, women that are, and I won't just say women, men and women that go through menopause, men go through menopause too, but we just don't talk about it. Uh, a lot of times when people are going through menopause, especially pre-menopause, they need to increase their intake of omegas to help their body get through um, menopause. Uh, so a lot of times that when, when I put people on programs, and they'll tell me they're having hot flashes and night sweats and different things. And I don't put them on the, the hormonal stuff like the uh, balance of wild yam. I only have them on the um, ascent, uh, omegas. And that takes it away because it's an omega problem, not a hormone problem. Okay. So, but medicine will tell you, well, you're, you're such, such an age. You're going through uh, pre-menopause or you're in menopause. And most of that can be controlled by proper nutrients within the body. So whether it's um, uh, menopause symptoms, thyroid dysfunction, um, which thyroidal dysfunction is, is an autoimmune deficiency. And a lot of times inflammation of the thyroid is called, caused by a lack of omega-3, uh, which is your flax and your um, salmon. So, and then it spirals down left unattended until we have um, a lot of thyroid issues, weight gain, et cetera, et cetera. And some of that can be eliminated by the use, proper use of the omegas. Uh, adrenals, uh, you know, most people have uh, adrenal problems because our adrenals are inflamed, because our thyroid isn't working properly, our parathyroid isn't sending the energy to the adrenal glands, and then we become fatigued. And so we be, go into uh, chronic fatigue. A lot of that, again, can be... Uh, caused by hormone problems, which are caused by lack of omega-3 and 6s in the body. Okay. okay. Hope I got answered previous no questions. Worries. Okay. So omegas for brain health. Um, 60 plus percent of the brain is fat. So I used to always joke around and said, uh, you know, if somebody calls you a fat head, that means you have a lot of brain. So um because the brain is made up primary of fat. And because fat in itself, all by itself is toxic, we need the proper uh, nutrients for the brain. And the people that don't do that are, have a much higher incidence of things like the uh, elderly issues of, of dementia and Alzheimer's. And if you've ever dealt with that with people, it is horrific, okay? Um, oh, Dr. Nelson wrote a book, uh, Saving... Um, Saving mom, no, losing mom, losing mom, uh, losing mom because her mother had that and she would not take anything for it. All right. Um, so the omegas are very, very important for that. Um, as we age, all of those levels, just like everything else diminishes. So as we age, we have to take better care of ourselves in all facets. We need more of the omegas in this case. So if you look at the brain, the way the brain functions, um, you know, a healthy brain versus a, a health unhealthy brain. What causes unhealthy brain? Um, eating too much of simple carbs. 
uh, carbohydrates, uh, sedentary lifestyle, obesity, uh, the sad diet, et cetera. You know, people that really want to take care of their brain, just like you want to take care of your muscles in your body, that you need to exercise it. But we need to relax it at the same time. So I deal with people that are stressed all the time. They're just totally stressed day and night. They worry about everything. Um, they have the news on 24-7. They, they worry about things they can't control. You are putting too much stress on your brain if you fall into that category. You can't worry about everything. Even worrying about your health all the time. You either take care of it or you don't. If you don't take care of it, there's no sense in worrying about it. If you do take care of it, there's no sense in worrying about it because you're taking care of it. So we, we just have to say we're going to do what we're going to do one way or the other. And I tell people, if you're not going to take care of yourself, then don't worry about it. Just let yourself go and don't worry about it and let it happen. OK, but worrying is just going to speed it up, the demise of the brain. And I use this analogy a lot. If I had somebody take something simple um, like this bottle of uh, black seal and just kept it in my hand and kept my arm straight out, just holding it, after a while, my arm would get very tired. Now, if I did it for days on end, pretty soon I would hurt the shoulder, the muscles, and the arm because it's too much stress and tension for too long a period of time. The brain is the same way. If we just constantly, we don't sleep, we don't take care of ourselves. We worry about everything. Uh, everybody's problem is our problem. Then you're going to probably end up with some type of abnormality of the brain functioning in time as you get older. Okay. So we have to be thinking about that and taking care of ourselves. Uh, and symptoms of decline, memory loss. Now, again, I'm not talking about memory loss where, you know, you forgot to put the trash out this morning or some of that. We're not talking about that. We're talking about simple things that you just can't remember and it becomes a habit. Uh, people keep telling, remember I told you that. Remember, that's the kind of things, memory loss. Slow recall, where you can't remember or recall what you just said to somebody a little bit ago. A uh, lot of mood swings. One minute you're happy, one minute you're upset. Um, uh, things anger you very easy. Uh, blurry vision is another sign, okay? But those are all signs of cognitive decline and that we have to be cognizant of to say, I need to, I need to fix this part of my body just like. People that have been on medications for a long time, it's been proven over and over and over again, they will end up with cognitive decline because it's so toxic to the brain no matter what the medication is. So people are on medications. Uh, we want to get you off of those medications for a number of reasons, but one of them is for brain health. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Question. Sorry, what? Question came up. Oh, question. Okay. Uh oh Okay, so BDNF is brain-derived neurotrophic factor okay in other words your brain you're not giving your brain enough nutrients to be able to function properly okay so how do you get optimal health clean eating uh plus holistic omegas 100 percent of your omegas a lot of it you can get from eating others you can't and then that equates to optimal health Good health really is not complicated. It's, it's difficult because people know what to do, but we just don't do it, okay? We know to drink water. We know to eat right. We know to go to bed on time and get some sleep. We know to turn off the news. We just don't do it. We think that tomorrow is, is the beginning. Tomorrow I'll start. Okay. Uh, I talk to people who, uh, you know, they say, I've got all kinds of supplements. Are you taking them? No. Why? I don't know. They're in my cupboard. Well, I don't understand it because why take, spend money if you're not going to put them in your body? It makes no sense to me. Absolutely no sense. And what, and I hope I don't offend anybody, but when people tell me I don't have time 
to take my supplements, I'm sorry. If you have time to eat, you have time to watch TV, you have time to um, play games or something on your phone, you have time to take your supplements. Nobody's going to convince me otherwise. And I don't care if you're raising kids. I don't care how much you work. I can promise you, I can promise you, there's very few people that work more hours than I do. Okay? That I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And I take my supplements twice a day, every day, without fail. And I take a fair amount, okay? Uh, probably more than I would have other people take. Uh, because I just will never be sick again. I never want to go back there again. And I refuse. So people always have these excuses. Uh, I can't eat healthy because I work. And by the time I get home, I'm too tired to do this, do that, do this. All you have to do is talk to us and we'll help you set up a game plan. We can't do it for you and won't do it for you. But if you need assistance and guidance, we can help you with that. Okay. But when Patty will tell you over the years that she's worked for me and I've said, um, how many times have we heard people say, I don't have time? Oh, lots. And I'm not one to say, oh, that's too bad. No, <laughs> I'll say you do have time. You just won't take the time. Okay. And that's your choice. I'm not going to scold you for it, but it's your choice. But then don't come along and say, I'm sick. And what, you know, nothing works because you're not working yourself. So I don't want to offend anybody, but we have to take responsibility for ourselves and make it happen, period. And I would say that to Patty if she told me I didn't have time to take my supplements. I would just snicker and go, yeah, right. Okay. And she would know that, <laughs> oh, I guess he's not agreeing. <laughs> <laughs> my sister is famous for that. I just don't have time. I go, yeah, right. Okay. So, okay. I love my sister, but she just won't take care of herself. Okay. Move along. Okay. So what are the omegas for? Skin health, brain health, hormones, immune system, energy balance, and insulin sensitivity. All right. Those are the things the omegas are good for and will help you with. That is the importance of the omegas. Okay. I hope if you haven't joined our Facebook page, you do. Um, and that you comment on things that you find good, bad, right, wrong, and different. We're open. Okay. And we can take criticism. Um, if you have feedback from our class, I would love to hear it. Um, good or bad, doesn't matter to me. Um, because I can learn just as much as anybody else can. But if you haven't, scan the QR code, become a member. We'd love to see you. And I want to thank you for joining us and being part of our class tonight. We're going to have a drawing here in a few minutes. The one thing I do want to say is that if you know people that want to learn about health, hey, class is free. All you got to do is sign on. Okay. Tell them. Give them the, give them the, the uh, link. Tell them to sign on and, and listen. If they don't like it, what have they lost? Okay. If they learn something that can help them or somebody they care for, that's what we're here for. We're here on this earth, in my opinion, to help other people, guide people, and love people. That's what we try to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, do I have some questions? Did we lose anybody? No, we did not. Okay. No questions? Uh, Georgiana, are you trying to say something? I see a combination of avocado and olive oil. Is that any? Is that recommended? Are you per you have a bottle that's a combination of those two oils? I see it in the stores saying? that you have avocado and olive oil mixed together. No, I would not do yeah, that. I wouldn't do it. Get buy a bottle of avocado oil and a bottle of uh, of olive oil and use them. You know, to use them separate. Or if you want, if you have two separate bottles and you want you to, you know, pour them both into your, you know, skillet and fry something, that's okay. But I would not buy a combination. No. Okay. okay. Anybody else? So the other essential, I mean, the vital contains omega-9. The vital? No, vital is an antioxidant. I mean, the vitamin C. Do you have any supplements that contain omega 9? 
You don't the your body will produce omega nine on its own. You don't need to to put omega nine in your body. You're fine with we're fine with omega nine. If we're doing the other things, our body will produce omega nine. It's the three and the sixes that the body ca cannot produce. You're born with it. What you're born with, that's all you have. Okay, no extra. Mm -hmm. Shirley, this was your first class. Any comments? It was very good, very enlightening. I never heard of omega-9, so I learned that. <laughs> That's okay. Sometimes they will talk about omega-3, 6, 9 oils, but your omega-9, really, you don't need to put that in. If you're getting the right nutrients in your body, you're fine. And the eggs were delicious. Okay. Right. Could, could you tell a difference? I could tell a difference. Yeah. Because I love it. So, yeah, the taste is definitely... The Tastes better. Yeah, it's funny because when we first started getting them and selling them to people, we had people calling us saying, I went home and I broke an egg and I it's it's bad or something. I said, What do you mean? The yolk is orange. And I go, that's what it's supposed to be. They're so used to yellow. Egg, good eggs are not yellow, they're orange. Just like just like a full moon. Okay. Is there an expiration date on those eggs? No, there's as long as you keep them refrigerated, no. Okay. Um, but I, you know, I mean, I don't recommend you keep them for a year in your refrigerator, but oh, then they, <laughs> they will lose their value. But, yeah. but, um, you know, eggs are a very, very good nutrient for you. So if you eat two or three eggs a day, that's great for your body, except on your no meat days. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> are there eggs in these time? Yes. Okay. Somebody just asked we had eggs in East Hampton. Yes, we do. Okay, anybody else? Okay, we're going to do our drawing. You have to be aboard as we do every class. I give away four prizes, okay? The first one we're going to give away is a $100 gift certificate. You can use it for services or product. You have to use it prior to... The end of August 22nd. If you don't use it, you lose it. Okay. And we're going to be gone a week. So uh, nobody come back and say, well, you were gone a week. I couldn't. <laughs> so we gave you an extra week. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the second drawing will be a $50 gift certificate. And the third and fourth drawing is a $25 gift certificate. All right. So I'm going to ask everybody's name is in here. Um. We're gonna have, I'm gonna have Patty draw, mix them up good. Don't look. <laughs> no, it's the same thing. <laughs> okay. So the first winner is who would like to win a hundred dollars? Just just out of show of hands. <laughs> I think everybody. <laughs> well, Jane, keep your hand up because you won the hundred dollars. Hey, Jane. Jane, Jane, Jane. Okay. The next one. $50. Who would like to win $50? Jane, don't raise your hand because you have no shot at this one. <laughs> and the second winner is Judy. Hey, Judy. You there, Judy? Wait. I'm here. Thank you. Okay. Yay. And the first $25. Our lucky girl. Our lucky girl. She wins almost every week. Who would that be? Heather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Heather. Me? <laughs> or every month, I, I think, would say. I think you are the lucky girl. <laughs> and the second $25? Heather shows up every month. How's your mom, Heather? She's okay. Called her um, right before class. Um, she doesn't, she's not feeling the best, but she's getting her infusions and then waiting on her surgery to be rescheduled. Okay. To give her our love, okay? I will. Thank you. And I hope everybody says a prayer for her, please. Okay? Thank you. Um, so if you, when you're saying your prayers, just include, okay? Mm -hmm. And her name is Muriel. So if you want to name 
prepare group Marin. And the other $25 winner is Georgiana. Oh, yay. Thank okay. you. Great. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Um, product, services, whatever you want, but you got to use them. We want you to use them. We want you to take care of yourself. <clears throat> and it's my reward for saying coming aboard. Uh, we do it every class. Um, what else can we, can we want to say? I hope everybody's hydrating in this hot weather, please. More water, more water. You're probably sick of water. Get water, okay? Drink, drink, drink. Okay, we hope you learned something. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. Uh, we're here. Uh, one thing I will mention before everybody goes, if anybody is looking for a really good massage, we have a wonderful massage therapist that comes. Her name is Michelle. She's on, on here. Wave, Michelle. She comes in two or three times a week uh, from up in near Boston. Um, we've been keeping her pretty busy. Mm. Um, so um, if you need a good massage, we have somebody that's very dependable. And that's been hard to find uh, yes. a dependable massage therapist, but mm -hmm. we have one. And um, so let us know. Um, the One hour is 55 for a full hour massage and you won't regret it. Yeah, and so, she goes to all three offices. Yep. So oh. wherever you're at, Southwick, East Hampton, or West Hartford, she will be there. Uh, I think today she had what one in South. There one here. And one, one here and two in South, or one in Southwick. Okay, tomorrow you have what West Hartford and Southwick. Two in West Hartford. Okay, and I can't keep track. Anyway, <laughs> okay, so I just want to throw that out. Okay, treat yourself to a massage if you want one. We're here. We love you. We want you well. Please take care of yourself. And like I said, we, we do love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Have a wonderful night. Be good and God bless you all. Good night, everyone. Night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good, soon. Night. good night. Thank, Thank you. you, John. Congratulations to the winners. Thank, Thank you. you.